I onboard all my clients with only one click. And if you wanna see it live, I'm gonna do it at the end of the video. But before that, I'm gonna show you exactly the process that I have followed to achieve just that. Onboarding clients in a service-based business is something that we all go through. And while at the first time, you may be happy to do it because, hey, hooray, you, you have a client, it starts to become very repetitive and you tend to do every time the same number of steps. And not only that, the typical process is you do something, then you wait for the client to do something else, then you do another something, for example, you send a contract, so you have to wait for the client to sign it to you, so then you can continue onboarding the client. And all this means having in the back of your head that you have to onboard this client and that you are in the process, and all the constant interruptions once the client is done doing his thing. So this process can be a huge time waster. But typically, like 95% of the time, we can automate this process. And by automating it, this will mean that you no longer have to spend time doing it yourself, which means that you will have more time to spend it whatever else, in growth activities for your business or going to the gym more often, whatever you choose. But before we move into how this is done, I gotta tell you something that I'm very excited about. I'm in the process of finishing the build of a school community where we are going to teach business owners like yourself how to systemize and automate your service-based business. We're gonna do it together. We already finished building all the program and we are very soon releasing it. But if you want to join, the only way to do it is by signing up to the waitlist that you're gonna find below this video in the description. Okay, back to the video. So what is the process to actually build an automated onboarding process? The very first thing that we have to do is to define what is the process. I would not recommend you to build any system or any automation if you haven't defined your process first on paper or on a tool like this one, which by the way, this is whimsical. So this is how my onboarding process looks like. Once I have the, co the qualification call and the lead is interested, I want to mm, click a button that triggers the first offer that I have. But then if they qualify for the second offer that I have, I again, just click a button and a contract is sent. Then the client signs the contract. Then the client receives an email with a Stripe link for the first payment. Then the client pays and then the client receives an email with the onboarding materials. The payment is added to my invoicing software. The Slack channel and Google Drive folder is created. A welcome message in Slack is sent and the Notion client project is created that contains the client portal. All of this happened automatically from this click of a button. But yes, before I needed to define this process. You can take this as an example. You can just copy it and do the same in your agency. But I recommend you that you have a document like this one because then it is gonna be so much easier to build it as you can see all the steps visually. But also once you forget about what you have created, this document will remind you and also it will serve your team members to also get used to the process. Okay, so now that we have this map built, what do we do next? So, well, we go to Notion and this is my sales area where I have all of my leads that haven't become a client yet. But for the purpose of this video, we are just talking about onboarding. So we don't really care about all the sales process. We only care about once we have made the sale and we want to sign contract, get payments and, and all that jazz. So I'm going to create a new, a new lead. And even if I have here a lot of a lot of properties, don't get overwhelmed. Probably in the beginning, you will not need all of that. But the only thing that you will need is a status property with all the different statuses that your process is going to have. But again, for the purpose of this video, you only need one status. Let's say that is contract sent, because this is typically the first thing that you're going to do once a client has told you that he wants to join your program or whatever you are selling. And since I like buttons better, I have set it up so whenever I click this button over here, the status changes to contract send and this is what triggers the automation. So basically, the only thing that you need is a status that changes to whatever you want and that linked to a button, but even the button is not really necessary. It's just like a cooler way to, to do it. You could just change the status and that's it. 
and this is the only Notion setup that you need. Then in the future, if you want to also modify which is the price that you are going to be charging the client because it is different every time, you can have these properties with total price or price per, per installment and, and how many installments and, and, and all of that because all these can affect dynamically all the automations that we are going to be using. Like for example, in the contract, we can modify which is the price that appears in the contract depending on the properties over here or the same, like the payment link that we are gonna send. It can be for one amount or another, depending on the quantities here. So now, what am I using to trigger an automation from a status change? I'm using a tool that is called the gist. It is a tool that is very easy to set up. So I just created an automation and this is how I have it set up. When the status matches contract sent, this calls a webhook to make.com. If you don't know what a webhook is, this is basically a URL that make.com generates that I will show you now that is open for receiving data from any software. And then it is gonna be through make.com, which is an automation tool, where we are going to continue with the rest of the automation. And it is this automation over here. So the trigger of the automation is the webhook. So the, all the lead data is gonna come here. And then, well, I have multiple contracts, probably you only have one in the beginning, and this is going to just send the contract automatically. I'm using a tool called e-signatures for sending the contract. So this is an automation step for this app, e-signatures. And then once the contract has been signed, I'm gonna move the lead to the payment status. This is another status that I have. And then the gist is going to trigger the payment automation. And in my case, this is done in Xavier, but it could have been done in May.com. So it doesn't really matter. And this is the automation that whenever the gist send all the information, then any of these paths is gonna happen depending on some properties. And, but all this is gonna take into account the price that have been input inside of Notion. And the client is going to receive an email with a payment link and some text, of course. And once the client have paid, this new automation triggers also in Sapier with all these steps, add the payment to Notion, add the Stripe fee, update the, the client record, to mark that he's paid and how much, create a Google Drive folder, update the database item of the client with the Google Drive folder link, create a Slack channel, send a Slack channel message for welcome, and send a welcome and onboarding email with a form that they have to fill, and then we update that the onboarding has been completed. So it's 25 steps that all happen automatically as soon as the client pays, and the client has been onboarded already. And all this, if you remember, the only manual thing that I did was just to click one button. The rest of the actions were taken by the client and once the client took an action, the next step of the onboarding process triggered. And so you can see it in real time, this is what I told you in the beginning of the video, here is an example of me doing this process with Victor, which is one member of my team who kindly accepted to make this role play of me onboarding him into my services for $1. Here you have it with your project and, and that's it. You're going to receive access to our Slack channel, to our client portal, to, to everything. And, and we can get started uh, super, super, super fast. Okay. Sounds great. So I'll just wait for the email to arrive then. Reminder. Oh, here it got. Here it comes. Your do it for you contract templates ready to sign. Do it for you contract templates ready to sign. You and sign. I hereby acknowledge. Sign here. All right, so it is officially signed, man. Oh, new client. Yeah, so the payment will link should arrive now as well, right? Yeah, no, awesome. No. This side. What? Woo! All right, yeah. so. Uh, You're in. I am in. Let's see what will happen now. This is very exciting, actually. Everything is set up. Please fill in this intake form, which sets up one minute and going to help you. I'll set up the starting point of our project today. Okay, we're back. So you saw that it was very easy from my side and also very easy from Victor's side. Which impression do you think that Victor got from working with me? that I know what I'm doing, right? I have a process, it is automated, he just receives things as he takes steps, and this helps him understand that he has chose the right professional. So now imagine how many more clients you 
are going to be able to onboard if you have a system like this one. So, well, this is what we are going to teach you in the school community. But if also you want direct access to me and you want me to do it for you, we can also do it. So you can also find in the description of this video a link to book a call directly with me where we are going to review your case and see if it makes sense to build something like this for your own business. So, well, that is it for this video, guys. And as always, hasta la próxima.